should be celebrating. Yeah. So, where to? Best views in the city. His face. Seems a shame to let that sunset go to waste. I love me. I don't know about you. I love me. Pro golfer on table four. I'm really close to getting a hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Please don't call the cop. My dad died recently and he used to own the club I was singing at. If I don't come up with 300 grand like now, Louis gonna take it. What else to do? <laughs> Good life. The story seems legit. Ah! <laughs> it is. Please, a warm welcome for the morning stars. Uh. In a way to begin with. Mr. Uh, first certainly made his presence now. But, but this place is mine. You can forget the tip, by the way. But I do need to tell you. Oh, I do need to tell you. Because I know you're the killer and you can't kill me, you may as well just hand yourself in now. How could you? Oh, oh. That's another hidden talent. I just want to say thank you. You're welcome. For saving my ass. Again. It's Lola over there finishes flirting. We need to get back to her. <laughs> Whatever happened with the detective? Mess it up yet? And what the hell are you still doing here? Go home, you devil. You shot me. Remember in the warehouse early in our partnership? I'd really penetrate you. I'd commemorate the one time you penetrated me. <laughs> Happy birthday, detective. I love their relationship. <laughs> We're today, we're jumping into Lucifer. This is season three, episode seven. Guys, this is my new camera. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this content. I literally just woke up from a new nap and I said, oh my God, I gotta do Lucifer. It's been a while. I actually was going to film Lucifer the day that my other camera broke. And then I was gonna do it on the computer, and then I was like, ooh, I can't do this. So I really did wait for my new camera to get here while my other camera is being fixed, so I can still give you guys the content. Now, I'm just letting you guys know a small disclaimer. I guess New York City decided they want to build a house from scratch. So there is banging outside. I'm going to hope and pray that you guys don't hear it, but my microphone picks up literally everything, so God only knows. But if you do hear some banging, I am so sorry. I cannot help it. No matter where I move, it is always fucking loud. Um, guys, the last episode of Lucifer was the bomb. No diggity, no doubt. And I'm really excited to get into this one. It seems like we're starting to pick up. It's starting to give me a little bit something different, a little bit something new of Lucifer. And I have been enjoying the last uh, two episodes immensely. Like, the whole season I have enjoyed, but the last two episodes have been, like, top tier for me. So I'm really hoping that we're going to continue on this very strong path. Um, Lucifer and um, um, Lopez, I believe that's her last name, was a really good duo. And I'm really hoping that we can get more of her in the stories. I never realized how amazing she is as a character until the last episode. She just is so, like, she's, she's everything. But I'm not going to go into rehash the last episode more than that because you guys see my reaction and a little snippet of the episode that I put in front of this just gave you a little highlight of everything. I do hope you guys enjoy my intros as well, the previously before or previously on and then whatever show I do do. Um, it's like a little thing that I try to do to stick out from other content creators as well as really try to refresh your memory of um, the past episodes. So I really do hope you guys do enjoy that little thing that I do. Guys, now I'm going to give you the little um, information about the full reaction because I know you guys want to see this in the full reaction. Hair flip! Um, and it is my birthday month, guys. In two more weeks, my birthday will be here July 20th. Shout out to all the cancers. Um, so if you guys want to help support this channel and you want to see this in full reaction, guys, please join the YouTube channel membership here or on Patreon. I have three tiers on both of those platforms. So choose wisely. With that being said, guys, let's jump into Lucifer and find out exactly what the devil has got to give. 
Hey guys. <laughs> Welcome back to the land of the living, Mr. Getty. Welcome, Miss Getty. What happened? You died. Just in the with death. You had us worried there for a while. Is my wife here? No. We have been having some trouble lately. That's a guy from, um... But you know what? Second chance on life. Better call Saul. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> Sorry to shag and run, darling, but, uh... I'll see you next time. Lucifer! Who the hell does he think he is? Lucifer. Lucifer Morningstar. And the answer is no. I will not sleep with you. Excuse uh, me? I'm married uh, to a woman, thank you very much. Oh, does she know you're gay? And the only woman that I've ever loved is sleeping with another man. Arrogant, womanizing, piece of garbage. To be punishing uh, him. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to. How are you? That's not enough for someone who stole your wife. You're right. Now you should destroy oh. him. And normally I'd help you do that, but I picked up a new hobby recently. Detective! No, I've been trying to reach you. Detective, meet my new friend. Uh, uh, Reese. Good luck with the punishing. To approve a piece about overpriced booze and go go nicks. No, no, it's a con man. Remember the last time I had a bad feeling? How can I forget your Pulitzer when you won't stop reminding me? This son of a bitch is hiding Oops. something. Bringing this guy down. There wouldn't be a personal reason behind it, would there? No. Of course not. What are you doing here? Have you come to tell me about the punishment you delivered? Probably not best to go into detail in a police station. I'm a journalist for the LA Telegraph. So I pitched my editor and she said I could do a piece on you. He helped me out with some gambling debts. Saved my life. Five years ago. I heard he was somewhere terrible down south. Just love that guy. Everyone here just loves Lucifer. I don't like Lucifer. Yeah, I'm not exactly in love with the idea of my wife putting herself in danger just so some club owner can have fun playing cop. We're separated. Oh, but still, it's gonna be hard watching them frolic around in front of you. Separated is not divorced. There's still time. Former B-movie actress turned detective, works with a whack job consultant. Sounds about right. Make this a pleasant experience. Or we can do it the hard way. Ooh. Oh, the hard way. Yeah. What am I supposed to do with these? Wear them. Like you always do. Oh, right, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, what oh. are all these? These are boobs. Yes, I'd know them anywhere. Well, so you should have that detected douche. Looks like you've been skipping leg day. Lucifer, he does this. He notices things that normal people are too normal to notice. As an expert in punishment, because I'm the devil, this isn't punishment. <laughs> this looks like someone making a statement. She's a fraud. Someone wanted to reveal that the people around her can't trust her. Vegan chef, curiously found with raw meat in his mouth. Oh, so vegans can't enjoy a healthy sex life. So someone's killing charlatans. Ah, the worst kind of scum, next to boy bands. This is a serial killer. Yes, the completely justified killer of phonies. The environmentalist a week ago and Poppy here was found just a few days later. We have to catch this guy before anyone else dies. Why does Lucifer work with you? What's he get out of it? Uh. You'll have to ask him. Things have been off lately, but I want to try and turn things around. I miss you. Uh. Leave Lucifer oh. Morningstar alone. Yes! Or you'll be too dead to regret it. I've been threatened by worse than you. I guarantee oh. you haven't. I need you to look up this address. Something shady going on here. Your wife's in your office. Really? Oh. Reese. Oh. We need to talk. Reese, why are people in your office calling me your wife? We're separated. Oh. It's been two years. Sign the divorce papers. Please. You can't keep leaving me voicemails like that. Uh -huh. Things are not off lately. Things are over. This is classic denial. It's a self-defense mechanism. Don't you analyze don't... me, Linda. Oh. I'm working on something, and I need a little more time. Why? 24 hours. That's all I'm asking for. Okay, if I do, you'll finally sign the paper. It's a known hotspot for trading stolen goods. I knew he was up to something. Fencing, smuggling, or work? The service duffel bag. I need to get it. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna go upstairs? Oh, me, somebody there. <laughs> I'm gonna get you out of here. Well, hello. Expose you for the fraud you are. 
and save this woman. Who is this guy, Lucifer? He doesn't seem very fun. Well, you're not tied up against your will. Why would you send that crazy ninja woman after me? Crazy ninja woman? Oh, Maze! It's just a tad overprotective, that's all. Demon bartenders, you know how they can be. This will prove everything. What is this? These sex toys. Edible sex toys, to be precise. Not exactly FDA approved. You thought that you had a nice juicy scoop for your paper. And I don't blame you. You're just doing your job. Why didn't you come with me? The detective just called with some sort of lead. Excuse me. Do you mind? Uh-huh. You're right about the implant. You pulled a partial serial number that pointed to a plastic surgeon's office in Beverly Hills. I do. You want them to suffer. I do. Realizing that his scar made him resent all the people around him. That's good. I wanted to write a piece that showed that your partnership was a dangerous joke. But the truth is, he's just frustratingly, annoyingly, a charming guy. I'm just going to drop it. Is this some weird journalistic tactic to get me to lower my guard? He sold expired medical goods from the office, including some tainted Botox that poisoned a few people. Well, he wouldn't give us any information on the buyer. Probably scared, but we'll get it out. Now the detective's gone, let's have a chat, just the two of us, shall we? We've got a lovely lady tied up back at my place. Now I'd like to speed things up. I'm sorry, I don't know his name! I only know his, his username, okay? Truth on 21! Oh. 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 I couldn't do that anymore! You have to stop seeing Lucifer Morningstar. I was working on a story with him. Oh, okay. So you just happened to be working on a story. He's the actual devil. Yes, Lucifer is insistent on this devil persona. It is none of your business who I sleep with. It is if it's Satan himself. I'm enjoying myself with someone who doesn't make me feel trapped. Who gives me 100% of his attention and doesn't demand anything from me. Being with him is the most liberating experience of my life. You know, I've been incredibly patient with you, but I just can't oh. take it anymore. If I can come up with proof that he is the devil. Sign the papers. You've got a lot you need to figure out, Reese. You're right. I do. Uh. Damn, you got even shot, Richard. In a day? Child. Reese, it's Detective Decker. We could really use your help. We're here about the serial killer case from last year. All the victims were local celebrities who were featured in the Telegraph style section. You think he read the article? I was complaining to the detective about some posts of mine that have been removed from a website for roosters of award-winning size. Does your paper archive redacted comments, uh, uh, anything that's threatening or violent? Still haven't destroyed him, have you? Excuse me? That sleazy piece of garbage who was sleeping with your wife. I'm starting to think that he might be undestroyable. Stay oh, back. Your ex-husband? So we're tunnel buddies. <gasps> you just ruined a perfectly good Burberry. What kind of monster are, are you? you? See, he's the devil. There's your uh, Reese. You're lucky the detective isn't here. You'd be cleaning my blood out of the couch. But you've got to believe me. Reese, I know he's the devil. What? <laughs> you. Yes. And if this unsettled by me, I'd hate to see what you're going to do to the scoundrel who's been sleeping with your wife. I didn't know the truth. And I didn't think you did either. And you're still seeing him? Only professionally, Reese. Much to my disappointment. But he's not what you think. He's the devil! Oh, it's not like I've hidden that fact. He's evil <laughs> incarnate! He's my friend. Oh. All this time, I've been trying to prove to you who he really is. You didn't care. Sit down, Reese. Let's talk this oh, through. Please, oh. Reese. Your assistant left your redacted comments research on my desk. So do you have a story for me? Something I can actually print or just arts and crafts? This has to stop. This guy has one. Ooh. I'm telling you this as your friend. If you don't let this go, it's going to be the end of your career. The detective isn't here. You'd be cleaning my blood out of the couch. Registered on the L.A. Telegraph website as Truth Dog 21. On some stories we ran about Poppy Parker and Daniel Moore. Okay. I'll surrender quietly. Oh, no. I'm not a cop. 
You're here to do a story on me? Well, my job is to dig up the truth. You were just doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah, I was. I'm back on my meds now. I'm trying Ooh. to be good. It's hard, but I'm trying. I'm trying, I'm trying. I get it. Biggest fraud I'd ever encountered. I tried to expose him. Show everybody a liar that he really is. He won. They always do. <laughs> Don't they? What's his name? Those them? Yeah. Um, all the redacted comments. Do you think Lucifer gets out of this partnership? I think a long time ago, somebody wronged Lucifer. I think he avoided dealing with it. Being on each case, it gives him an opportunity to right those wrongs, to fight back. Huh. You give him more credit than he deserves. Well, I don't think you give him enough. She's dead. Uh, what happened? Now he's gonna be arrested too. It's like the same poison that was used by that serial killer you guys were after. How, how could the killer be here the exact same time we were? He was here for you. He must have figured out that you were gonna pass over information about him. Huh? There's only one person who's to blame for this. Listen, you are not moved for whatever it is. You, you drove me to do things I never would have done. And now, there's a dead girl down there because of you. Trick us into sin, damnation. I take no part in who goes to hell. Then who does? You humans forcing yourselves to relive your sins over and over. And the best part, the doors aren't locked. Responsible for a lot of things, Reese, but not your soul, not your actions. Hurting me is not what you really want to do, is it? What are you doing to me? Oh, well, you're complicated one, aren't you? Very strong. I just want Linda to love me. That sleazy piece of garbage. That. <laughs> That was me. The way she looks at you. <sighs> she cares for you. Showed her my true self. But how could she accept you after that? Well, maybe she did. Because of that. I was a bad husband. Put my work above everything, above us. It wasn't all your fault. I wasn't perfect either. That's why it's mm. good that we're going our separate ways. But Linda, no. Huh. You forgave the devil. Why can't you forgive me? I thought that you were honestly taking responsibility. But it's always the same with you, over and over. I went up against the devil. I risked everything getting involved with a serial killer. A poor girl got killed! Wait, what? It's an accident? I, I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Reese. Oh. Stop! No! no. Reese, no. no! Call Detective Decker. Tell them they can find me at my office. I'll give them everything that I have. You were right. Let me make this right. <sighs> Lucifer wasn't a fraud. He's an honest man, as honest as they come. No, no. The fraud is you I'm laughing about. <laughs> I caught you. <laughs> Don't tell me. Best mode. That or the poison I drank. <laughs> I set things right. Maybe this will turn things around. <sighs> Welcome back to the land of the living, Mr. Getty. <laughs> you had us worried there for a while. I'm sorry you haven't had any visitors. Well... We have been having some trouble lately. Oh, this is so creepy. Maybe it's not too late to turn things around. Hey! Uh. Hey! Oh. hey! oh, that was good. Well, well, that episode was really good. I really, th you know what I was saying is in my head while I was watching the show. Duh. I was saying that guy who I told you guys is in Better Call Saul, um, Howard is his name in Better Call Saul, I like him a lot better than in Better Call Saul than I did here. His personality just fits a lot better for the, for the character that he is playing on Better Call Saul than he does here. 
but I did like him here as being this weird, creepy guy that needs to be put away. And at the ending of this episode, when I saw the beginning, I was like, why is he, um, why are we doing this again? And then when we backed away from the door, you remember Lucifer said, um, they could always escape. The door is never locked. You can see that the door is open. Like it's, the, there was another door that had chains on it, but that door did not have chains on it. So he could always escape his personal hell, but he's not. He keeps reliving that moment over and over and over again. So this was a really good episode. The beginning was the ending, I guess it was, or where we kind of saw the whole thing. I was super confused. I was like, why is Linda sleeping with um, Lucifer again? And then I was like, well, why the hell is he have his face? Uh, you see, I do pay attention. Um, regardless though, I would give this a nine out of 10 rating for me. Um, I did enjoy it, but I did like the last episode more than this episode. But this episode was still a very strong episode. It, it really, it was a smart play. This was actually one of the first episodes I see how they kind of did that like beginning to the end situation. The, the ending was like the beginning and then we kind of got, if you paid attention into the middle of it, it tied in into the ending. Do you, does that make any sense? I don't know, Cheryl. Um, it's Lucifer. It doesn't make any sense. But regardless, I really did enjoy this content and I really can't wait till we continue on this season of Lucifer. With that being said, guys, if you've seen my reaction and realize you are not subscribed, hit subscribe and also please like and share this content because it does wonders for this channel. And I'll see you all next time on Andres L.